What's up, y'all? My name is Patrick, and I'm the Community Engagement Manager for Blue Crew, the local nonprofit here in New Orleans that operates Blue Bikes, New Orleans community-run bike share program. And today, we're gonna go over how to start and end your trip on a Blue Bike. Let's go. First thing we're gonna do is open up the Blue Bikes NOLA app from there at the main home screen. We're gonna start by hitting scan in the bottom left-hand corner. From there, we're gonna hover the phone right above the QR code in between the handlebars. We're gonna select our payment method and then hit continue and unlock. And then before you start your trip, make sure to check out these few tips. The first one is gonna be to always make sure that you do a quick safety check. So you're gonna start off by taking the black cable and attaching the black cable to the white hook located behind the seat. You're also gonna check the brakes and adjust the seat height. Don't forget to wear a helmet and obey all traffic laws. When you get ready to end your trip, don't forget to end your trip within the Blue Bike service area to avoid the $25 out of service area fee. Another big thing is to make sure that when you're ending your trip, do secure your vehicle to an appropriate publicly accessible location, such as a Blue Bikes hub, a tall street sign, or a public bike rack. If you end your trip within the service area but do not park at a designated Blue Bikes hub, you will incur a $2 convenience charge. Do not lock your vehicle to any of the following. Private property, historic architecture, trees and shrubs. This includes balcony posts and iron fences. When you're getting ready to end your trip, you're gonna wrap the black cable around the publicly accessible bike rack or tall street sign. You're then gonna secure the circular end of the cable around the wheel lock. And then you're going to manually press the button on the left corner of the wheel lock and push down until securely locked. One last thing, take a photo from the back of the vehicle to clearly show that the bike is properly secured. And then on this screen, you're able to see how much time you've been using during your trip with that clock at the top left corner. If your bike did not unlock yet, you can hit the unlock vehicle icon that's located directly below the clock. There's also an ability to reach out to our customer support team by hitting the question mark icon in the top right corner of the screen. And we're ready to end our trip. So we're pulling up to a blue bike station or a publicly accessible bike rack or tall street sign. From there, what we're gonna do is take the black cable and we're gonna wrap it around whatever fixture we're locking our bike to. We're gonna make sure that the circular end of the cable is tucked right in there in the back black U-lock. We're then gonna push down on the button that's on the left side of the lock until it's securely closed. And make sure to move those spokes so that way you're able to fully shut that lock. From there, you're gonna hit end trip in the Blue Bikes NOLA app. And you're gonna take a picture to end your trip. And just as a reminder, if you're ending your trip outside of a Blue Bikes station, you may have a $2 convenience charge. So you're gonna continue to end trip. You're gonna take your picture and the best location to take the picture is from the back right side of the bike. Once your picture is taken, make sure to hit that submit button in the bottom right corner and you're good to go.